da 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 Nero Pathways. Nero Pathways, I like spaghetti, jump. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my god, why were you watching me? I didn't see you there. Anyway, today we will be learning about Nero Pathways. The Nero Pathways are kind of like a spaghetti junction. Now, if you've ever seen a spaghetti junction, you'll know that it looks like spaghetti. And face reveal with three, two, one. <laughs> so anyway, let's draw your typical spaghetti junction. It'll be a road, so we have to make it two dimensional. And then you just it just goes off into the end. Woo! That's our spaghetti junction here. So, imagine these cars as signals coming from your brain. Now, I'm no artist, so... Our cars will be people box on wheels. Literally. <laughs> Ta-da! Our people box on wheels. Maybe it contains to... Something like move. Arm. So let's, so it would travel through at the speed of light. Well, not the speed of light, but the speed of electricity. Sometimes they can get up to 25,000 miles per hour. So it does signal moves super quickly and it goes to let's draw this let's draw the rest of here goes to the brain so excuse me as i draw my poorly drawn brain my signature poorly drawn brain anyway this is the brain and when that signal comes that's like move Arm. Your somato sense. Nope, your motor cortex starts to fire up with the black dots, just like in the other video, and and it and it sends a signal. So let's say it's going to the arm. So let's draw a poorly drawn arm. Yay, hand. Uh, okay, so anyway, it sends the signal to the hand. Or we can connect these two. So anyway, the signal goes from, from the brain to the arm's motor neurons, like, like it sends a signal, and then the arm moves. Because that signal fires up the muscles, does some ATP stuff, and then bam, it moves. So, this spaghetti junction is equivalent to this spaghetti junction. And it even doesn't even look like um, those nice drawings you see on your textbook. Actually, it's really ugly in there. It's like a a jarbled mess of of nerves and blood vessels. And the only thing that's like good is like straight lines of the coronoid. Then they're all just There are a bunch of neurons like that. Anyway, let's say we break one of these roads. Snap. Now, when it goes and then it gets stuck here and explodes. The car explodes just like the neural system would stop working. So now, none of this. No, no move arm. You do not know how to move your arm anymore because those signals get blocked off. Anyway, that is the spaghetti junction of your nerves. Anyway, let's get into some of the real deep science behind it. So, how does it travel through? A, diffusion. B, electricity. Or C, mini car.
cars. No, I'm gonna draw a better car this time. Mini cars. The answer may be obvious, but to some people, this can be a real challenge. So, mini cars, diffusion, or electricity? The answer is, ba -ba -ba, electricity! It uses the electricity because if it used diffusion, it would be like moving really slow, just trying to diffuse through all of this. And then it'd even be trying to get through into the nerve. And then it'd be so annoying to move your arm, you would have to physically think like, And it would move super slow. But electricity vroom, speeds right past the diffusion. While diffusion's like, uh, 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 vroom, the electricity is already to the brain in like a millisecond max. And then the brain is able to get the signal and be like, move. And then it comes back, meow, meow. And then goes to the arm, and then the arm's like, okay, I gotta move. And then, guess what? It sends a signal to the muscles like, Neo, and it moves super fast, and you're able to do, few, few, few. and guess what? Reflexes are even quicker, because the brain is totally ignored. It just spinal cord going, Mwah! and then the spinal cord basically freaks out and and cuts off the brain. And the brain's trying to send a signal really with its slowness compared to the spinal cord. And, and the electricity is like, flew. and then it goes straight to the arm. And then the arm has to move away from a hot stove or something. So that's why we choose electricity over diffusion. Because diffusion is slow and electricity is fast. Who's with me on the electricity gang? Guess what? You have no choice. Electricity for the win. Okay, last but not least, some congenital diseases that cause blockages. Sometimes they can just be damaged, like a bulging in, and then this obstructs obstructs the neural signals like and then it's like a roadblock. Whenever a spaghetti junction section falls, you see you see roadblocks like this. So let's draw some ashes and there would be a roadblock being like, don't come here. And the car here would travel and be like, oh, nope. And then go a different way on the spaghetti junction. Anyways, sometimes there are a lot of neurons. So just one neuron being damages is not that bad. Unless it's like goes to your heart or something, then you're dead for sure. If it's like a tiny little neuron that controls your arm moving, you're fine. Just just get surgery or something at a minimum of $5 million. And if it's like goes to your heart, then you're dead. Bleh. So important neurons, important and non-important neurons are not important. Wow, that's so new information so anyways that is basically the spaghetti junction of your neurons make sure to keep on spaghetti junctioning and sciencing